So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, let me thank Asia and Eric for hosting and organizing uh, this event. Um, Eric, you mentioned that it's very timely because you have started to read the communication coming from the European Commission. What I wanted to say that it's very timely because since last week, we as a politicians have started to read the Volkswagen strategy. Uh, because the Volkswagen, for me, it's not only the largest manufacturer in Europe, but it's also the benchmark. And if I quote from their strategy, Transport 2025 Plus, uh, Volkswagen will change radically. Very few things will stay as they were, as their press release begin. So uh, what, what I understand from the key message is that if the Transform 2025 Plus truly takes place, Volkswagen as we know it today will not exist anymore. Uh, I think it will change everything for corporate structures to employment pr approaches, but also to the consumers' relations. Here today, we have not only the representative of Volkswagen Group, but also Daimler, Renault, and many others. And even so, if you don't come up with your new uh, future strategy in this regard, I think we have to all adapt to this transformation. You were very right pointing out that we are now on the verge of total uh, revolution in the mobility. Uh, after last year, which was marked, I would say, by scandals, recrimination in Europe's car industry, I think it's now the time to close this chapter and look ahead. Uh, we have to think about how we get moving on what I would call the rebirth of our auto industry. Building smart, Connected, data-driven vehicles will be, for me, the rebirth of car industry. And that's also the reason why we are here today. The benefits of connected cars have been already mentioned, going from less congestion, less pollution, and improved safety. Every time I'm allowed to, to use a new connected feature in the car, I found it really fascinating. So invite me to the test track, and I am ready to, to go there. But the key is how we can get the, uh, the vehicles of the test track to the hands of the citizens. And for, from this perspective, I think what we need is EU-wide rules. Vehicles generated data is what will allow this new system to work, but we don't know yet what can and cannot be done with this data. As we have seen with internet, it can facilitate our life. Now we remember the birthday of all our friends and colleagues, but we also seen that the data can be used anatetically. It can allow an individual to be tracked and hacked. And there is a real fear from some citizens of how this data will be used. If we don't adopt guidelines at the EU level, we risk that we will have member states' guidelines and rules. And I think that member states' rules alone will risk the system. This risks a vehicle getting to the border and just stopping. Stopping because data transferred allow in one member state will not continue in another member state. Last year, uh, we adopted the first, I would say, connected feature in the history, which is the e-call system. So if you have an accident, the vehicle will call the emergency services and give your location. Uh, I think many of you remember how much time we spent on the discussion of the data transfer, of the sensitive issue of privacy, uh, the question of what's happening with the data. And it was just one single feature. Can you imagine the debate over the hundreds and hundreds of data transfers that are needed every mile second for connected vehicles to work? This only reinforces my views on the need for EU level rules and the need to start working on them as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we also need EU-wide infrastructure 
to support this transformation. What good is a smart car when you hit a dead zone in the countryside? A smart car very quickly becomes a dump car, and in the case of fully connected vehicle, a smart car becomes a useless car. If we want to allow this new transformation to happen, we need the data infrastructure to match it. We need 5G, we need it everywhere, and we need it now. I fear that Europe will not be ready in time to lead on this. Every day in the parliament, I have to find against the stakeholders that are defending the old uh, technologies, the old industries, and that don't want to embrace the digital revolution. Europe has to become far more willing to leapfrog to new innovations and try to implement them. While I firmly believe that Europe will be a leader in designing and building the connected cars themselves, if we don't act now, I'm not sure we will be leading in infrastructure to support those vehicles. I don't want to go to China <laughs> to see a European smart car functioning in practice. As uh, uh, Eric already said, with the great power of data, uh, great responsibilities come from civil li li liability to cybersecurity to industry. And we must address this issue even before the lawmakers start thinking about them. Cybersecurity issues must be addressed in the planning stage and strong protective actions adopted to guarantee the vehicles and the infrastructure against cy cyber attacks. And let me conclude by saying something that I have said in the past. One of those unforeseen problems that many technicians overlook uh, are the rules themselves. Rules set by regulators will be the parameters within which our driving program will work and they will be far from perfect. We must address these questions. Questions like industrial policy, cybersecurity, consumer rights, data protection, and liability. Hard questions. Who is liable for an accident if no one is behind the, the wheel? And there are many other questions. The, the issue is so complex that I don't think that, with all due respect to the Commission and the Parliament, we can address these issues alone. Our vehicle-related industries must be part of the conversation and must ensure that their engineers are also aware of the larger picture. So that's why I'm very happy that uh, ASEA is on the lead, that you have started to take on board all the stakeholders involved in the process. So I'm very much looking forward to our future cooperation on, on these important issues. I think that if we all work together, we can deliver and we can deliver something which will be crucial for the digital mobility. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dieter. Please do come and join me. Thank you.